This is a, a random thought about software development that I've had rattling around for a while, so I thought it might be talked probably an appropriate place to present. And on the left hand side of the slide is the user interface or program that I wrote um, a while ago. And, and I intended this program to be able to be used by people who weren't programmers and weren't implementations. So I made this user interface that just has two buttons, one of which quits the program um, and one of which actually does the thing. Uh, and so I had no complaints about this and never got asked for help with it, so I was quite pleased with what it needed to use. Um, but on the right hand side of the slide, you can see a list of all the things that I did get asked for help with, and these are all the sort of dependencies, all the stuff that you had to do in order to just get the program running, so you had to have the class database set up and then to figure out the right paths to give the software and so on. Um, and so this is the, the one thought that I wanted to uh, get across. Although this program is easy to use, it's not necessarily easy to start using. All these barriers to entry. So, as implementations, I think we're um, likely to spend more and more time writing programs that are designed for average people to use, like people who are not programmers and so on. And so, I think we need to be thinking about the distinction between programs easy to use and programs easy to start with, or, or it's easy to uh, get that first run uh, and it doesn't have huge barriers to entry. And about time, I'll just say that although I'm talking about software development here, I'm actually more interested in training people. 